Greetings from the London School of Economics and the annual research fair happening here dedicated on the 75th anniversary of the Beveridge Report. The report that shaped the concept of the modern welfare state, a report that is comprised by William Beveridge, the former director of LIC, and is still relevant because the five social evils he outlined back in the 40s of the 20th century are still relevant today. Among them, idleness and the need for constant reskilling and upskilling of the workforce. How this can happen through public policies? Well, this is what, of course, was discussed here. But the fact is that ideas such as the individual learning or the individual work accounts and ideas such as the flexible learning pathways are always failing if the government is leading the innovation. Today, due to the distributed leisure technology, academia and private initiative can lead the process and I will explain you how. Every learner is able to register his accomplishments in the distributed database, get rewarded because of his accomplishments with tokens and be incentivized if he is uh, validating skills and knowledge that is relevant, that is sustainable, that is smart and green. On their end, academias are also being incentivized because they are the one to validate the acquired learning and skills and then to verify the documents that are being registered into the blockchain. Of course, being incentivized, academia can receive the support they need in order to continue to produce open knowledge. Open knowledge that is available for those who seek constantly reskilling and upskilling, but also for those that cannot afford classical, closed source educational degree. And there are many of them, even in well-developed economies like the UK one, we have no more than 50% of higher education access. What about the other 50%? What about the other taxpayers who are actually paying for this education? Quite simple, they can use the concept for smart credentials and use the opportunities that are out there for vocal, for further learning. But learning that can be then compiled at a certain point in time, reaching certain milestones, turned into a degree, and a degree that continue to grow and to expand with the time. Everything enabled through the distributed database, everything enabled through the ledger that is not limited to a particular institution or government, but is global. Great discussions, great ideas but a lack of solutions. Here is where we stepped in, here is where we suggested looking further at the OS University as a solution to enable this learning transformation. Thanks for getting in touch with us, thanks for involving and being part of the global effort to address the future of learning.